So as late as the um, fourth century, uh, I mean, anybody who's read Eusebius, um, <clears throat> for those who don't know what I'm talking about, Eusebius of Caesarea, the church chronicler, um, he even talks about Second Peter being known as not written by Peter or not accepted as being written by Peter um, and being uh, disputed a lot but it's useful and it's just it's not written by Peter but it's has sound teaching in it so some people use it and um, mistrust of the uh, the epistle to the Hebrews, which is uh, which many people mistrusted because it came from Rome and nobody outside of Rome knew about it. Although he says, well, there are the the epistle of the Hebrews does get quoted a lot, so we'll. Uh, leave it in there uh, or not leave it in there right? There's, I don't think Constantine had made his 50 uh, 50 bound um, codices with, of just pages there was no there weren't really codices they were just bound books bound ledgers that he sent out for various churches to put down their scriptures and that's why they had differing um, differing canons basically different different communities put different works in there um, uh, they all contain the homologomena meaning uh, you know four gospels um, Romans Corinthians Second Corinthians, Acts, Galatians, works like that. Uh, but he he also speaks about Hermas, that uh, Hermas was still being read in churches at the time of um, Eusebius of Caesarea. Um, he was actually at uh, Nicaea. He was at the Council of Nicaea. Um, People call him Constantine's propagandist, but eh, he gives a pretty sound. I mean, <coughs> what, what? No matter what you think about him, he talks about what was going on during that day and age. So, well, that turned into a lake over there. That's how much it rained, and that's a mayor, male mallard duck that's over there. Um, so it just did the uh, the evangelicals or the people who like Joel Osteen. This is my Bible, or the Bible is a manual for living. You know, the Bible is uh, God's love letter to mankind. The Bible was assembled by the church and <coughs> um, basically rubber stamped by the church. The Eastern churches still do not read the Apocalypse of John in their services, in any of their services, because again, it was too late, and everybody knew John, the, the Apostle John died in Ephesus, so this John of Patmos was somebody else. Um, and who was he? Not to mention that it, the first seven letters, many critical uh, Critical biblical scholars um, uh, have pointed out that uh, the seven letters seem to be anti-Pauline. In fact, they're, I don't want to say explicitly anti-Pauline, but there you go. They, they look at, uh, read the letters of Paul and even read Acts and then read the first seven letters. Who is... Uh, God or Christ talking to talking about warning who is he warning about who is this false apostle that was not a, is not a real apostle but calls himself an apostle and 
you know, these women, because Paul had women running churches. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, still to this day, people should realize that, that, you know, <coughs> oh, Christianity's based on the Bible. <coughs> How is that possible? Christianity predates the Bible by centuries. And it was the church that gave its, that, well, wrote all the texts of the New Testament. And that's where the authority comes from. And they're the one that compiled it. That's why we don't have the Apocalypse of Peter. Um, in fact, many Eastern sees have a different canon of the New Testament. Armenians have the third letter of the Corinthians. Um, Ethiopia has, I believe they still have the Protoevangelium of James. Uh, some of the uh, codexes that were believed to be um, the 50 that Constantine had sent out. Uh, Sinaiticus and Vaticanus, I believe, have uh, the Didache and Barnabas, the Epistle of Barnabas in there. But yeah, uh, you know, you see the Moratorium fragment, you know, and there's dispute about 2nd, 3rd John, 2nd Peter. This is coming from the 150s. But there's still people I mean Eusebius it's not really a lightweight saying yeah Hebrews hmm meh and the same with uh, he actually calls out he says the it, there's only one writing that Peter wrote the rest are spurious the one known as second Peter was not written by Peter but doesn't have anything really heretical in it and it's in accord with the teaching of the church, so go ahead. You know, you can read it, and it's read in some churches, but <coughs> everybody knows Peter didn't write it. Um, I never believe that Peter wrote anything, except he had, I believe if he had influence on uh, Mark, at least uh, the earliest portion of Mark, but I believe that uh, 1 Peter was written by, the authorship is correct because I believe it was written by a disciple of Peter. In which case, it would be forgery if the disciple of Peter put his name on it because it worked the opposite way back in those days. Just like the pastoral epistles, were they really written by Paul or were they written by a student of Paul? It doesn't matter because it's still Paul's theology. You could actually argue that the epistle of Barnabas is a forgery and it should be attributed to Paul. I actually believe Barnabas wrote the epistle of Barnabas, or the epistle of Barnabas. But it's saturated with Pauline ideas, Pauline thought I should say. But yeah, the fundamentalists, the evangelicals, and almost all these Bible-based churches, I mean, it's ass backward, a Bible-based church. You're basing a church, which the Bible tells you already started a couple millennia ago, and you're going to use the scriptures which they just they saw fit to have read in church. Not all the scriptures that they read. I mean, they, they were still reading Barnabas and Protoevangelion and the Didache and Shepherd Hermas and First Clement and the writings of Ignatius and uh, Polycarp <coughs> for a long, long time, and even while they compiled it. In fact, Athanasius of Alexandria in his 39th Paschal letter in 367, which all the uh, uh, Bible-based people want to point to is, oh, see, the canon was fully formed back then. He actually tells his uh, 
the, he actually tells the readers before you even read anything in the New Testament, in these, these 27 books, make sure to read the Didache, the Epistle of Barnabas, the Port Evangelium, and he goes through. I think he says the Acts of um, Paul and Thecla. So it's, it's ludicrous, a Bible-based church, and I mean, it's uh, many places basically you worship the Bible, use it as an idol. And it's still silly that they come out with things like uh, baptism is an outward sign of an inward change, which can be found nowhere in Scripture, but is just a anti-Roman Catholic idea. It's the opposite of what the Roman Catholics believe, so they cling to it even though it can't be found in anywhere in their New Testament, in the Western canon of the New Testament. All right, those are just some thoughts.